Hello friends. Let me introduce myself. I am soil and I play an important role in all your lives. I am responsible for providing nutrition and water to the plants. I provide support to the trees and I am very important for agriculture. I have a lot of water and also small worms in me. These also help plants and crops grow. Only if I am of good quality, you all will eat good grains, vegetables, fruits, nuts, etc. It takes thousands of years for me to farm and I have a long story. To share my story, I shall take you to a village in Jharkhand and introduce you to Babul and Babu. We will learn the various aspects of soil in this video. Babul, Babul, come here. What do you want, brother? I wanted to help Baba in making these masks out of mud. However, there are small pebbles in this. Can you pick the pebbles from the mud? Brother, why don't you sieve it? I think that way pebbles will get separated easily. That's a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Get a sieve and please separate pebbles from the mud. I will just come. Whenever Baba gets mud, it is soft and nice. I wonder how pebbles came into it this time. Looks like the mud has come from a different place. While children are preparing masks, can you enlist the things you find in soil? Babul, these masks are complete. Soft mud is also over. Father was asking us to make a few lamps. Where do we get the mud from? There is no soft mud around. Go, ask father and come. Okay, brother. Brother, father is saying that we can go to Ramnath Chacha's house and get the soil. Come, let us go. Look, I can see Parimal Bhaiya. Good afternoon, Bhaiya. Why is this machine here? Babul and Babu, what brings you here? Bhaiya, father has sent us to get clay. But why is the machine here? Oh, this is a drill machine. What is this used for? Our well has got dry and we are having water problem. So father is getting the ground drilled. What will happen with this? They will keep a hand pump so that we can use the water. Oh, but I don't see any workers here. They are sitting down. They drilled the ground a lot but they found hard rock and they could not drill further. They will get another machine to break the rock. A big rock! I thought there is only soil in there. When I dig to plant at our house, I do not find any rocks. <laughs> Look at the heap of mud besides the hole. Look at its composition. It is brown, reddish and then it is also light brown. Very intelligent observation. Can anyone tell me how soil is formed? I am sure you have learnt about this in your previous classes. I have just studied that due to sun, rains, moisture, big rocks break into smaller pieces and into further pieces and that is how soil is formed. 
it takes thousands of years for the soil to form. Brother, when we were sieving the mud, pebbles were found. Do you remember? Yes, you are right. Soil is formed due to the breakage of big rocks into smaller ones and then it slowly becomes soil. This happens due to the influence of sun, rain, wind etc. and it is called weathering. However, even on the upper surface, you will find some pebbles, sand etc. The heap you are seeing here is the different layers of soil. I see. Soil is made of distinct layers. Come, I will explain about the soil profile. That is how these layers are arranged. Brother, let us see what Parimal Bhaiya is saying. I will get a bottle and a glass of water. Okay, Bhaiya. Look, I have got a transparent bottle. And in this, I am putting a handful of mud. And I am adding a glass of water. Now observe, what do you see? See, the pebbles in the soil are settling down. Correct. So this is just a sample. You keep this overnight, the clarity is even more. Oh, I can see the differentiation here too. There are small stones at the bottom and then there is sand. Absolutely correct. Then you have silt and finally the soft mud. On top, can you see the organic matter? This is called humus which feeds the plants. Is the soil profile under the earth like this? Yes, your guess is right. There are distinct layers of soil in the earth. Topmost layer is called topsoil. This has humus. I know, plants grow on this. The next layer below is called middle layer. It has minerals. Then are there rocks after this? This layer has small rocks and the last layer is bedrock. Which layer of soil contains water? The topmost layer contains water, sand and gravel at the bottom help the water to get drained so that the roots do not get rot. Bhaiya, as there is organic matter in humus and it helps soil, can we also add good things to the soil? What do you plan to do? I plan to dig the soil a little and add dry leaves, fruit peels, vegetable peels etc. I'm sure it will help soil. Yes, you are correct. We should put only organic matter and not plastic and other artificial things in the soil. This will spoil the soil. Thank you, Bhaiya. Please give us the clay. We shall take your leave. Sure, sure. Children, in this video, we learned about the various aspects of soil and also learned about the soil profile. In the next video, we will learn about the types of soil.